I like Revolution. Today's tip using decorative mica rock. Uh, you can order it from dropdeadgorgeouswalls.com. Comes in four colors, pearl, bronze, gold, smoky charcoal. I wanna give you a tip of using something other than the Roman glue that we always talk about. I wanna talk about using set coat, Felfex set coat, which is an excellent bonding primer. It's got great adhesion. And feel free to try other base coats that are good bonding primers because I think it, it works great as a glue replacement. So we're gonna end up with a finish like this. And I'm gonna give you a quick how to accomplish that, okay? This is, let me move my camera. This is the mica drive after it's already glued on. So I wanna go through the process of how to apply it. I, if, if you're doing a large surface, I do use a roller. If, for the sample sake, I'm gonna use a brush. I just want you to generously apply the set coat to the surface where you want your mica to go. Sometimes for this finish, I'll pre-tear the pieces. In this case, I'm using pearl and the base coat is set coat gravel gray, which is this, and it's also going to be the adhesive for the pearl. So as you can see, I have wet paint. I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna stick this here. I, I started a piece, I'm gonna seam it over. <clears throat> now, just when you first adhere the mica to the paint, it, it's gonna move a little bit. So just let it set up probably for about three or four, maybe even five minutes. And just keep going, keep adding pieces, almost like the tissue application. Touch some more pieces. I'm gonna put this one in here. Here's a stray edge, I'll put this here. I'm assuming that you've worked with this product before for this tip. So if you haven't and you're interested, it's not hard. You can contact me and we can review it. Put another piece up here and so on and so on. You see, just keep adding some wherever the wet paint is. Now, in this case, I don't mind holidays. Maybe that big one. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna come and backfill paint back over it after it sets up a little bit. Which is gonna move me on to this step here. So, you get the idea, right? We just continue this on, we continue seaming. We continue using the set coat as our adhesive and it sticks. Okay, after the set coat dries, and usually it's, if you're doing a decent sized wall, like a 10 by 10, it's dry by the time you get to the end. I come back with a little tub scrubber. I get these in the Home Depot section. It's a 3M cleaning product. It's in the cleaning section. And then I'll come back and I'll go over it. I scrub the mica to make sure if a piece wants to fall off or it delaminated, it comes off at this, at this level when it's dry. Okay, so my next step is set coat is a latex paint, which it's a water soluble paint. So I want you to get a spritzer and fill it with water, and I want you to spritz the mica area that you're ready to go over with the squeegee and the paint. So then we're gonna take some paint and we're gonna apply it just a little bit because it is wet. We're gonna take our squeegee and we're gonna pull it through. Pull it through the paint. Pull it through the mica, I'm sorry. I mean, the squeegee's better. It's, you always keep a clean squeegee so it doesn't track marks through and it's, it's easier to do the finish without a lot of touch-ups. And it, it's basically that simple. So then when this dries, I'm gonna flip this back over. You're gonna have a beautiful tone-on-tone -tone 
might have been. It's incredibly durable. Nothing's going anywhere. I could even, if I had a metro, I could trial over it and show you that it's not going anywhere. And I think it's, um, everybody has set coat. Just order some mica rock from dropdeadgorgeouswalls.com. The colors are so interchangeable now. You could use red and you could use browns and golds and it goes on and on. The metallic set coat works really well too. So that's my tip for today. I hope you guys try it. If you have any questions, please call me or send me an email. And uh, have a great day.